remember what uh, we covered last time. Yeah. 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 What did y'all think? Is there a follow-up? Any thoughts on that? Or? It's okay, Phil. So what were you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so that leaves us with two more, right? Hit the tiger, owl turns head. So let's see. I know we just did a couple. But we didn't do too many, did you notice? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have time to do more. Yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> conspicuous. Conspicuous, yes. Yeah, hey, I don't wanna I don't wanna burn you out. But let's see if you hit the tiger. So um, if you want to alternate right and left as long as you don't hit your neighbor. Um, yeah, or just do a few on one side, whatever you want to do, just keep on hitting tigers until I've seen everyone. It won't be that many. <coughs> you do not have to stay down in it really any time at all. The book suggests a breath to get in, inhale to get in, exhale to get out. I'll turn it, I'll do it this way in case anyone's watching. Um, so, 50-50, sinking, I naturally feel my weight shifting to this one and my right foot's already becoming light. See it, the heel comes up, I don't think about it. Let's step out, put the toes down. I think I just don't want to do it, thank you. 50-50, more on the right, a lot more on the right, and I still feel engaged through the heel, through the foot, but most of the weight's on the right. Oddly though, even though most is on the right, as I sink down, I don't want to really feel too much on the right. I want to kind of feel in the middle. As long as I've got my weight set up right, I don't want to think, go to the right. I want to think, sink down, mostly in the middle. And I stepped this tiny bit small because I was being careful to show you the step and not to not flop into it. But does that answer your question? I uh, just want one, one piece of it. When you're out there, mm -hmm. okay, are you on your outer edge or are you flat, kind of sort of flat on the, on the foot you step with? Good question. So, I'm going to say yes to both. Okay. <laughs> That's a fine answer. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a fine so, answer. So, let me, let me try to be clear about it, not just blow it off. But, so, um, once I step out and get into it, I do feel the heel and outer edge because I don't want this. I don't okay. want the arch to collapse in, right? Okay. I also don't want this. Okay. Now I've got the ball of my foot's off the ground and I feel pressure going in bad places in my knee. So okay. I want to feel the heel, the outside edge, and the ball connected. And then within that, get the knee out just enough so I know that that inner arch isn't collapsing. Okay, I got you, does thank you. Sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good question. Does everyone understand that or does that bring follow-up questions? It was good. Okay, cool. All right, so um, watch me a couple more times. I'm just gonna go one way and then the other. You know, all of our bodies are, no one's perfectly symmetrical, so you'll see differences on mine one side to the other, so. And I'm gonna try to get into my Nacon, so my feet might get a little off. Well, we'll I should just tell you it's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> it's, it can be out, right? But then you can play through it and find the alignment where it's good. And that'll usually be the correct one. It's, it's, with some practice and correction. <laughs> with some practice and some help.
forcing it a little bit, but it's mostly there. Okay, questions, comments, suggestions? So once you, you get to a, a certain point, you can still kind of finagle some more? Yeah, it's not technically the way to do it, but I'm, I'm like, I'm not quite there. I'm doing little adjustments to try to show you the real correct alignment through my body. Okay. Does okay. that make sense? So, and you're, you're welcome to do that, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, in the posture as described by C.K. Chu, there's really no time. <laughs> you know, he's like, you can go and you are in hell. So, <laughs> so, and when you really get low, you probably don't want to hang out with the thigh doing as much work holding you up. But if you've done it with experience, you have some experience, right? So you can kind of play with it. Your thighs have been strengthened and your core has been strengthened by now, and you can, yeah. Yes. Yeah, good question. Um, any yeah. others thoughts? Feelings, impressions. When you start, um, mm -hmm. I've noticed differences, and I suspect that it's just an independent sort of thing. Uh, you start with your hands open. It's different starts with your hands. Ah, yeah, and that's a that's, yeah. I'm, you know, I think I learned with fists from Grandmaster Goring, and I think from just looking at the book, I kind of went back to the way CK Chu was doing it in the book. I actually like leading with the, you can do it with fists just the same, but I like the feeling of stretching through the fingers and then coming into the fists personally. Um, actually, yeah, that's, good. that's a good cue, segue, I guess they call it. Go take a look. So, yeah, so you can see when CK Chu comes, starts stepping out, I guess I'll open the whole thing so you can see the whole thing. <laughs> ah, it's posture. So when he's stepping out, you can see he's kind of leading with his wrists. I don't know if you can see but I can see, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He stretched through the fingers. He's already starting to make the fists as he's touched down. This is the one going to the. This is the one where I can't tell which way he's stepping out. This is confusing. Because does it switch here? It looks like it does. Switch, right? Because he's just right. Oh yeah, in this case, he's probably throwing his right leg that way. Oh, no. And then That's right. once he plays, yeah. okay, yeah, he moves. Yeah, yeah. My my brain switched it upside down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. So yeah, so he's stepping out, shifting. So you see how much he's sinking the step before it switches to the other leg of the fist. Yeah. The arms are helping with the balance, and then as he's sinking into it, he's making the fists. So that's kind of what I've been doing. But you can have fists from the get-go if you want. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so yeah. you go out, you go in, and then you go So watch again, I'll show you some examples of what can happen. So um, we'll, do, we'll do some more, don't worry. If not, just go watch and listen okay. to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so when I sink and step out, and then I shift, I can tendency can be to shift more. You see how that's a little too much? Yeah, yeah. Over your just a little yeah. bit, right? I can feel it's just barely too far, but right here, it should be about a lot. It feels a lot. And then from there, I want to keep that and where to sink down now becomes a matter of like where in the body do I get that from? And maybe it's just here for now. But maybe wow, I'm a little, I'm a little too small to go lower. Yeah, your knee is way yeah. really over your toe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the rule of thumb is if your knee is over your toe, you could probably step a little farther. Yeah. If you can't bring your knee even with your foot, then you step too far. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, that yeah that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, so if I step short, and try to go low, then my knee ends up moving yeah. over, right? If I step too big and try to go low, it doesn't even get there before I run out of leg. <laughs> but, we can use that as a gauge. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the trick for finding your distance for hip adjustments? Oh, step oh steps. you know it? Step oh, not exactly. Not exactly. So yeah, so this takes a squat. So, but if you, if you want to, you can try this. You can come down into a squat and just put one leg out from there. That's as big as you'll ever go. So that sets your maximum, not your how far you have to go, but look at how far it is and compared to a square or whatever, that's as right. big as you ever need to go. Okay. That's not as far as I hoped it would be. <laughs> <laughs> See, beyond that point, so you're keeping yourself from going low, right? Does that make sense? Yes. 
Uh, and then if you took that foot a little, just make sure, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Good. So I'm a little all over the place, yeah. but are there any other? Those are good questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so once you're that, in play, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, you want to yeah, come on, why don't you, do you mind being the guinea pig? No, <laughs> So we'll use you as the guinea pig. Yeah, so from here, can I correct, just do some correction? Absolutely. So from here, take your right hip in, sink your right hip, uh huh. Let your upper body be upright, uh huh. Do the arms, sink your right hip a little more. There you go, yeah. So, yeah, there you go, better. Yeah. That's a good hit. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> If well, I can do that for a year, thank you. Well, I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad. We all, yeah, it's just a progression, you know, getting better and better. Does oh, anyone else want theirs corrected like that? That's oh, usually. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, thank you. I'm persuaded he doesn't have rubber sole shoes on, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got those soft cotton ones on a, on a tile floor, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you want to try, I'll, I'll just run it. Yeah, yeah. Just let me know so you're not just hanging out in it. <laughs> I can't hang out too long. So put this heel here. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, a little farther, a little closer. There you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Let the upper body come up like just a little bit. A little wide, so just a tiny spot, yeah, a tiny wide, wide, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you, were, you were going down, but you kind of ran out of room, and that was why I just make it a little smaller. Sink down a little bit, let the arms go out, take a small step, but don't shift yet. Now start to shift, circle the arms as you sink into them. So feel it like a Tai Chi move. Uh -huh. And then when you come out of it, do the same thing. Let the body push off, open, have balance to step in, to come together. So the arms help at just the right time to step out and to step in. Right, let's try the other way. Sink a little bit, step like half of what you normally do, and just touch down without shifting, like, like the step test, like you said earlier, yeah? Then open the arms. Those arms were a little late, sorry, but let them close in as you sink. Uh -huh. And it should feel like you're not bending your leg enough. <laughs> and then as you push off, let the arms open. When they're out, is your balance time to step? Yeah. Did that feel a little yeah. more like Tai Chi? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Felt different. Yeah. Excellent. So, with what it felt better, right? Yes. To do. Yeah. Not as not as like. Oh. But, <laughs> but um, if you can get some of that smoothness into a slightly bigger one. Yeah. And then etc. etc. Okay. Questions, comments, suggestions. All right. Let's do our life skill. Very good. Good work. Good improvement. <clears throat> the path of self mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. Path of self mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. Path of self mastery requires balanced emotions. Balanced emotions do not yield to negativity. Thank you, sir. About two intermediate, beginner, advanced students. Like that training distance. Master's path, if you want to get a drink, we'll come back out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for that chat. Thank you, that was See what I was doing. You're welcome. Oh, good. Well, I wasn't 
go and heal the tub, uh, first of all. Uh, I was actually crawling into it. Yeah, that's so that you step and then come down and yes. then come over. There. I can feel the difference in the balance from that alone. Nice, nice. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't consciously thinking of that. But, but no, but that's what I was watching for because I knew I was off and I couldn't figure out where. So this was the plop of the book. I was plopping down. I was doing the not the cells of plop plop tis <laughs> tis. <laughs> plop plop tis <laughs> tis. Yeah. You're not the only one. <laughs> so, but thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You broke that down well. Glad to hear it. Okay. I love, uh, love Nacon grape roots for. Well, I love seeing beginners get Nacon, but I also love Nacon improvements for people that have had it for a while. The longer I do it, the more I appreciate it. I, I will be honest with you, I didn't appreciate the first, the first time. That's true. I didn't understand what's going on, and I knew I did. But that doesn't mean anything. But now I'm appreciating it more and more because it's, I'm seeing how and where it fits in why. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, yeah. You've done us. Yeah. Once you've done a certain amount of Tai Chi, it starts to make more. Yeah. Like when, when I first yeah. started, I was just like, oh, it's cool, yeah. whatever. Start, you know, starry eyed. But, but, but yeah. yeah, that was just I, I just took it with faith that there was, it was there for a reason. And I was just going to wait until I saw it. I'm starting to see it. Thank you. Just starting. So you see the light across this. I'm just starting to see it. I know there's more to see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. All right. For Master's Path, you've been working on basically your black sash training improve or black sash training curriculum of the form, correct? Yes. Correct. All right. So since we have a two-person class, we can get very specific on what everyone needs. Do you know what you need, or show me and run a little bit, and I'll find out. Well, I just need everything. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> everything? I'm, I'm right. finding sequencing to be an issue. With Sequence, okay. okay. Right so, now, I mean, let, I'll worry about the other stuff later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's requisite, right? With you got to get that. Yeah. Well, um, with that, with the option of everything and sequence, sequence is included in everything. So yeah. let's work sequence. So, um, yes. Can you hit the gong? You want a gong in? An extra gong. I don't know. Don't we usually say? Uh, sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Did I did I not go on after black sash training? You did after black sash. Well, let's do an extra one just for fun. <laughs> just for fun. Yeah, make it official. All right, let's begin. Master's senior.